Scorpio, what's going on, baby? It is Scorpion Red Tarot. Yes, indeed, I am back at it again with the remix. <laughs> it's like, nah. what's going on, you guys? I'm here. I'm here, my dear, to let you know what is going on for the month of May 2018. Did you miss me? Because I sure the hell missed you. Yes, indeed. Shout out to all my new subscribers. What's up? What's up? What's up? Thank you so much for sticking in with me. All right. Um, if anyone would like to book a reading with per uh, with, <laughs> with Scorpion Red Tarot, all you need to do is click my About tab, and you need to book then link. Okay, so my booking is there. You will see a link that says Scorpion Red Tarot as Simply Book Me. Again, it says Scorpion Red Tarot as Simply Book Me. Go ahead and select the type of reading that you want. Then after you finish booking, double back to the app About tab, and you see that Instagram link that is right below that booking link. Go ahead and click that and send me a personal private message so we can connect back there for our video chat now if you don't have instagram or you prefer not to use instagram you can use google hangouts it's an easy app to um download after we finish our chat if you don't use it on a consistent basis you can just delete it only thing you need is my email which is scorpionreds at gmail.com again scorpionreds at gmail.com send me a message and we'll link there for the video now if you want a video recap if you would like for me to record the reading and upload a private link to youtube so that you can have it there is a link in the menu for the booking for um a ten dollar um video recap you can purchase that ten dollar recap and like i said um you can have a video of our you know interaction and it could be yours forever forever ever forever ever you can also use that video recap link if you prefer not to get on camera to do a live reading session i do not prefer that or you know suggest that because it's you know we won't be able to interact with each other and if you have any additional questions you know it won't be able to be addressed but i do understand um you know people not you know wanting to get on the camera and things so if you don't want to get on camera you can just you know select the video upload okay so what you would do is book then link me and when you link me send me the question that you have and then we'll rock it out from there and I'll send you your private upload and you'll be all good so if you would like to send some love to the page, shout out to um, one of my followers that I just had a reading with the other day that had a wonderful, ingenious suggestion to say, hey, why don't you start an um, Amazon wish list? That might be easier if we could see what you want and we could hook you up that way. And, you know, I thank her so much for that idea. So if you want to send love to the page, you can do so by ever um, sending a love donation to the PayPal link or you can check out my Amazon wish list, which is on the uh, which is on the about tab as well as my other links and you can also find the paypal link and the amazon wish list link in the description okay so let's get into the reading scorpio all right father god thank you so much for bringing us here today for the sign of scorpio thank you so much for sharing love and light and keeping us uplifted and keeping us in a place of abundance and you know remembering our self-worth and just moving forward triumphantly into the future. Excuse me, let me light my candle. Uh, thank you so much for just making us this transformative being. Like, thank you so much for just giving us this power of just taking back our power and just not being scared to just transform and build ourselves anew and just try to rebrand ourselves and remarket ourselves and just go back out in the world with a brand new beat with a brand new drum and i thank you you know because i didn't even think i like drumming but it's actually quite soothing you know so <laughs> so father thank you so much for helping us learn to bang on the beat of our own drum thank you so much for all of the courage and you know, strengthening our belief and making us more aware and, you know, not scared to go for everything that we want in our future. Um, thank you so much for giving us a forgiving heart. Well, you know, that's one thing that we're working on right now, learning to be forgiving and let go of things that, you know, are no longer serving us so that we can just get past it and move forward. Because sometimes when we kind of harbor resentment and we're not able to forgive it blocks us from our greatness so that's one thing that we're learning father god and help us through that transformation because oh boy i think that might be the <laughs> biggest transformation of all so father help us father god and thank you so much for this 
blessed, glory, glorious time of our life. Like spring flowers are coming out and just like going outside and just seeing nature just become open and alive. It's just opening us up and we are a lot more happiness. We are ha we're in our goddess energy. We're in our divine masculine energy. We are just really exuding that self-love and that creativity. And, you know, we're really just paying it for and just honoring God and just honoring ourself and our light that we're in. So, Father, just give us guidance for the sign of Scorpio. Thank you so much for all your blessing and abundance. Please give us guidance for the sign of Scorpio for the month of May. And thank you so much for all of the blessings and the lessons that you've given and shown us in the past, present, and future that made us who we are today. Thank you so much, Father, for your gracious abundance. We got us for Scorpio. Wasn't this song playing last time when I was doing the reading? This hold on, hold on. This Tiana Taylor song. Give me guidance for Scorpio. What does it say? Despair. Despair is in reverse, though. I feel you, though, Scorpio. They said I ain't in no damn despair. It says, I need your divine intercession right now. Oh, great spirit, lift this darkness from my soul. Free me from this burden. Open me to your highest plan. May I be a peaceful vessel for your love. And I listen. Scorpio is no longer in no despair. We do not accept defeat. We do not retreat. We do not accept <laughs> defeat we are no longer in this place of indecision and despair okay so you've said this prayer you said it once twice three times the charm all right and now we ooh, you have dropped it you have dropped the despair <laughs> you have dropped it and no longer has place in your life or you are working on this no longer having place in your life and taking hold of your energy. We no longer living in a place of despair and unhappiness and feeling burdened by our surrounding situation. Father God, please give us additional guidance for the sign of Scorpio for the month of May. Give me guidance for my Scorpios. Yes. Come on now. Give me signs, information. Cause I'm in anticipation. Oh God, what you saying, Lord? This is a book, child. Shea but a baby. Good gracious me. Good gracious, Lord. Oh, Lord Jesus, fuck it. All right, Scorpio. So it seems like some of y'all, you know, can't get over something in the past. Something in the past is y'all been reminiscing over this and you were just really having a very hard time, you know, letting this thing go for some reason. The Seven of Swords. You might be dealing with someone that was like a trickster that someone, you know, had a very deep control over your mind. Maybe where you weren't able to use your intuition. Uh, you know, I feel like. I feel, I feel like, and in the moon, let me lay this out. So, it's somebody from your past that you, you can't get over. I feel like, like this person got away. Like this person was able to get away with something and this person was a trickster. This person was a deceiver. This person held a lot of secrets you know what i'm saying and this person got away for pulling a lot of deceitful um fucked up things on you but you know you were able to use your intuition and you were able to see what this person was trying to do you know you you was able to 
not be deceived by this energy. You see what I'm saying? You are not deceived by this energy. Not for so long. I feel like you went through it once, twice, three times was a charm. And you did what you needed to do to get the fuck up out of there. You know what I'm saying? But this is still something that I feel like is emotionally still binding for you a little bit. You know what I'm saying? It's like you're working on letting it go. But it's hard for you because this person got away with a lot of bullshit. And I feel like right now you might be working on different methods to kind of like get around your mind. Keep venturing back to those thoughts and those memories. You know what I'm saying? So you might be using different tactics for yourself trying to get you to stop thinking about this energy. Because I feel like you, you want to kind of let this go. But I feel like this person really did so much. This this person has did, did you dirty several times. And like every time that you would get away from this person. And you would find out the secrets and shit that was going on with this person. And you would get away. This person would come back for more. Come back for more. But because you have these memories. You know what I'm saying? You have these memories with this person. Every time this person would come back. You will always try to help each other put this thing together. But this person would still come back and show their face. Like I'm a deceiver. I'm a liar. I'm a cheater. I'm a scammer. You know what I'm saying? I'm a liar. I'm a cheater. I'm a scammer. Okay? <laughs> All right. And it could have been an air sign. OK, it could have been a Gemini, a Libra or um, what is that? Capricorn. Yeah. Or it could have been a Pisces or Cancer. But this shit has been like plaguing your heart and plaguing your mind. And it's like it's time for you to finally get the fuck on your high horse and get the hell over it. You know what I'm saying? It's like time to get over it. I just feel like there was just a lot of time spent here and this person burnt you several times, but you, you, you are, I feel like you know that you can't live in the past. You know that you got to move forward. Like your intuition is telling you that, like your intuition is guiding you. You have to get your mind together and you have to move forward. Otherwise it's going to open up the door for this person to come back once more again and do the same bullshit. If you keep holding on to the past, it's an open door. You know what I'm saying? And that's what your intuition is trying to tell you. You got to guide yourself to move forward. You got to stop harboring and, 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 and holding on. You know what I'm saying? Because for Scorpio, sometimes it's like when we love, we love hard. And it's hard for us to get over things, especially when we've been hurt and we feel like we've been deceived and used. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like you guys, you guys get some help. You guys get some aid. Okay. So. And, I, and, and a lot of you guys, I know y'all probably be like, I ain't getting no help. I ain't getting no... No, 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 no. Once you... Once you realize that everything that happened, everything that came out, it was for your better good. And stop harboring resentment and stop going over the past. And forgive this person. Thank this person for being this way because you showed me what to look out for. You showed me what is not emotionally fulfilling and what it feels like to constantly be given to someone emotionally and them not giving back and you feeling like someone is emotionally just yo-yoing you to fuck around and stuff like that you know that now you know that and it's like once you change your mind and you decide like listen i'm not going to allow my fears to turn into reality like i'm so scared that i'm gonna attract this type of energy that anyone that comes into my space and that tries to help me, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, hold on, well, who the fuck are you? What's, what, what, what's your, you know what I'm saying? You're so fearful, you know what I'm saying, with this moon about your future that you might be scared to allow someone to assist you and take a helping hand. And don't do that because the person that might be coming to you trying to assist you right now might be a damn emperor. Might be the true emperor, someone who could really guard you, someone who will really protect you. You know what I'm saying? Someone that's willing to pick up the lamb and carry it for you to get you to where you need to be. You know, so this man is willing to steer the boat for you, to carry you to where you need to be. 
allow you and your children to rest and have a safe haven while you kind of get your mind and your thoughts together. And this person is going to carry you to where you need to be and allow you to rest and allow you to feel protected. You know, the emperor, that's somebody that's, 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 he likes to, he's an honorable man. He's an honorable man. He has a lot of wisdom with him. He likes to be in control. He's a very balanced man and he's very protective and he's a good father. He's a very studious and, 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 and nurturing dad. You know what I'm saying? But he don't take no shit though. He's a very stern father and he expects greatness and he wants greatness. You know what I'm saying? Because that's the product that he puts out and that's what he wants back. He's a very good man. And I feel like, you know, all of a sudden this new love comes into your life. Something that you've been on bending knee praying for throughout all of the conflict, throughout all of the trials and the tribulations and Everything that you've been going through, like you've you've always been step forth in prayer and in your faith, Scorpio. You know, no matter what you went through, no matter what your battle was, you stayed faithful to your knowing that you deserve love and that true love is going to come to you and it may come to you in a form that maybe you didn't expect it maybe what you're not necessarily attracted to all of the time and i feel like what you were attracted to in the past wasn't good for you and you've been praying throughout your battle and throughout your trials and tribulations you've been praying for true love and you see how you guys are looking at each other like oh hey and I feel like, you know, you guys are like literally divine counterparts, truly a true match, a true match that you prayed for. You prayed for this. The King of Wands. All right. Hmm. I feel... Hmm. 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 And then, and then, and then you got the King of Wands here, Scorpio. Y'all might possibly be having two different men that's courting you. After you got away from this energy, and you finally decide to. Not let your fears and your worries get the best of you and allow someone to, you know, help you. You help yourself not only into stability, but into love as well. Okay? And I don't necessarily think that this is another person, but it could very much so be another person. Because I see over here, you are trying to have to balance yourself to figure out who it is that you want to give to. Because you have two people begging for the Scorpio's attention. And I feel like you <laughs> might possibly be in a predicament where you might not know who to give to because I feel like you don't want to end either one of these situations and you don't know who you want to like go forth in this new chapter in your world with like that's what I'm seeing down here okay so this king of wands here now if I'm relating this into the emperor what I'm saying about this king of wands is okay the emperor, you already know, is a good man and everything like that. Blah, 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 blah. But with this fire energy that he's also representing him, you know, maybe this, this emperor might have, you know. Anyway, so what I'm getting here is this person is very, um, is very handsome, is a very good lover very good looking is a very good dresser he smells good i mean he tells good stories he's fun like there's never a dull moment with this person you know what i'm saying and he's a very strong and independent and um courageous person and i definitely see you moving forward you know what i'm saying like you've definitely been thinking about 
leaving that life of despair and unhappiness behind and moving forward because I feel like this person cherishes you and this person makes you his world. You know, this person cherishes you and makes you his world. And then here you go right here as the Queen of Cups. And you see this dolphin coming out of the water, handing her her cup. And she's like, oh, well, thank you. Why, thank you. Yeah. She's being given her cup. And I feel like, you know, the uh, dolphins are one of the most wisest creatures that are that, that's in the sea. So I feel like she's being aided by another wise creature who is handing her this cup and saying look baby like you need to go ahead with this one this 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 is what you need to do you know what i'm saying you need to go ahead with this one it's a wise decision you need to make a choice you know and you sitting there on your throne like you don't got your life together like everything is in perfect harmony for you everything is in perfect harmony for you everything is in perfect harmony for you chapters are being closed permanently chapters are being closed permanently the only thing you have to do now is before you walk forth and you close this chapter is to decide who's worth giving your time to but that's why I say I do kind of think that there might be a Scorpio that might be giving to two at the time because you're single you have the right to date and people are courting you so you might be getting courted by two different men you know what i'm saying because you know also before the um before the scorpio the queen of cups grabs that cup she has two different passionate offers here but there's one that is making her their world and that's why she's accepting this cup and she's closing the chapter to you know what i'm saying and she's trying to you know what i'm saying and she's she's given she's given to the one that she's needs to give to and she's regrettably having to end a situation with someone that was a very nice man but it just wasn't the one that she chose because this one she's going to give a little bit more coin to you see what i'm saying this one is she's able to give a little bit more time to but both of them are begging for the attention you know and I feel like it almost hurts Scorpio because they don't want to. I feel like they, Scorpio kind of like them both. And maybe this is the place of despair. Maybe this is the place of despair. Because I like both of you. Both of you are good men. But I feel like one is younger and one is older. One is younger is one is older. One of us like, I'll pick you. I feel like the emperor is the one that's giving Scorpio the world. Like, I'll pick you up and I'll put you over my back like. I, you, me, the kids, like everything, like they want to give you the world, you know what I'm saying? And I feel like, but with this one, it's just, it's a spicy, good time, like, and this one is, this one is Scorpio's age, you know what I'm saying? This one is a little older, but, you know, so I definitely feel like there's going to be a big decision in regards to a love situation for Scorpio, where... <laughs> They're making some decisions in love, and I feel like they uh, prayed this in. They prayed for this. They prayed for this. So now you're just trying to figure out who to give your world to and having to make a hard decision because sometimes it's hard to be the Scorpio. Sometimes it's hard to be the Scorpio. And maybe is that the despair that you're in, Scorpio? That you got too much shit popping off? Oh, well, I'm going to lighten my spirit then because just the way the conversation was starting with Scorpio focusing on his old shit. Scorpio, please let that go. You are blocking your love. You are blocking your progression. You got to let that go, you guys. Please let it go. Ashes to ashes, dust to dust. I need you to be in your form. I need you to be Scorpio in regards to that situation. Let it go. Give me guidance for my Scorpios. Give me guidance for my Scorpios. But May 2019. Please, no books. Please, no books. Because that was just a book. Okay. Now I'm good with that. We're at a point of awareness. Okay. Where's my inner Daniba? Awareness. Okay. Listen. 
those circles that are being closed are on the top of your mind. Those are final chapters. You are aware that that is the best decision that you ever made in your life. You are in a creative, driven, independent state right now of leadership. You are taking charge and you are moving forth in the name of Jesus. Come on. Yes. You are aware of the divine. Okay. You said no, 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 no. Universe don't block me. Universe shock me. Universe listen. I know I wasn't aware before. I know I don't be listening and shit. I know. I'm hard-headed. But, you know, universe, like, just please can you kind of just move and operate things in my favor because I want something that tastes good like a lifesaver universe. And I just, I feel like, you know, you are finally getting aware to the fact that the universe don't necessarily work the way that you want it to work. You got to be balanced. You know what I'm saying? You got to have your heart balanced. You got to be able to face the darkness and balance the light and the dark. You know what I'm saying? You got to be able to tap in the shadows and balance everything. And not only be balanced in your heart. Oh, Jesus. Hold on. Where's the phone up here? Excuse me, not only be balanced in, in your heart, but just like really your base chakra being rooted, like knowing that you're protected, know that you're divinely guided and things like that. And I feel like I feel like you just aware that the universe. Number one, the universe don't operate for you if your if your heart and if your root ain't grounded. It's not going to work for you. You know what I'm saying? You got to talk positivity, love, and light into a situation. You can't be in a place of despair. You know what I'm saying? You got to know that you're always guided and protected. You know what I'm saying? And it's, it's just the awareness of how the universe works. Like, that's honestly what I'm getting here. And I could go and pull the book out, but I'm not because I just, I don't know, I don't give, I don't give a damn what that book say. No, I do want to see what the hell that book say. What does that book mean? The universe in reverse. Oh, shit. Now I'm going to have to figure out which goddamn... Oh, bitch, fuck it. I ain't got it either. That's why I'll never look in that book because it's all broken down in sections and shit. You got to figure out what section. I ain't got it itself. But I just feel like, I really do feel like that the universe don't work for you when you're in a place of despair. You know, you got to lift your vibrations. You have to be able to look past the past. You have to be able to not allow that to like circulate so much in your damn mind that is blocking your blessings you know what i'm saying sometimes you people have to realize how important the tool is of your brain and how much your brain has control and it speaks to the universe it speaks vibrations to the universe you know so you got to be able to control that darkness when you feel yourself sinking and bring it and, and bring yourself to the light and say, you know what, that's not healthy for me. I'm not going to allow myself to pull myself down. But however, since I'm down there, let me figure out what's going on down there. Why am I feeling like this? Let me address these feelings. Let me heal these feelings so I can pull myself back up to the light. And I don't, you know what I'm saying? And then if I see someone else that goes down in that place of despair, I can be able to help them enrich their self because I have to learn how to battle and deal and, and balance my lightness, my light and my darkness all the time because I am Scorpio. So, so the person that's dealing with Scorpio, they want you to know that you still take their breath away. Karma's a bitch and I got mine. 
and it all comes down to timing. Is there anything else that this person would like to say to Scorpio? I see a little part of you and everyone that I meet. I just want you to be happy. You're special to me even though I told you otherwise. All right. Well, I guess that's good to know. All right. So they say karma is a bitch and they see you and a little bit of you and everybody. All right, Scorpio. What do you have to say to this person? What is the Scorpio? If there's someone that's cross-watching and is dealing with a Scorpio, what does Scorpio have to ooh, say to this person? Right off the top, they say we will be together again soon. And they would say, we will be together again. I'm more affected than you know. My mind and heart always comes back to you. Clearly, they are they they've been still thinking about somebody in the past that they're trying to stop thinking about. I miss you regardless of how things seem. You've been in my dreams. I'm not the same person you remember. So I definitely feel that there is still a deep connection here with Scorpio and this person. You know, this person felt like they got their karma. You know what I'm saying? Um, and Scorpio still feels a connection that y'all, you know, see each other in, in, in y'all dreams. And Scorpio feels like y'all will be together again one day. Okay. All right, that was a lot. That was a lot. Okay. So I, I definitely feel like that's in relation to this person in the past. But I feel like that person that kept sneaking away and all of that stuff like that. That deceitful person that played all that mind games and was manipulating you and everything. They got their karma. They got their karma. But... You know, they're also having to do shadow work right now. And I feel, I just, mm -hmm. y'all might reconnect in the fall. This person is undergoing shadow work. That's possibly going to be a reconnection in the fall. Yep. <laughs> it's all down to divine timing. One of y'all says something about timing. It's all about timing. Because this person is dealing with some deep. Shit that they need to fix within themselves before they can come back to you and do anything. But they got a candle burnt. Okay? Feel like they 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 thinking that you know shit gonna pop off this fall around pumpkin season. Cause they don't wanna be in no crossroads about this situation, okay? They don't wanna be in no type of crossroads in between worlds. You know what I'm saying? They wanna be free and clear. And you know, it's all about timing. I feel like they don't, like for some reason, like, there's no sense of nostalgia anymore. I feel like they feel like they don't have a hold of your heart no more. Because you took back your free will. And feel like you don't, yeah, you took your free will and that y'all, it's a broken family. You took your free will back and... Y'all family is not connected anymore. What's popping off this spring? Let's see. Mmm. This spring they got rid of that third party. Okay. Alright. So it looks like this spring, this person that Scorpio has been dealing with got rid of that third party. Right now, they need time to deal with some shadow work. And they definitely got their karma dealing with that third party situation. It's all about divine timing. I don't feel like they feel the connection. Like Scorpio might have cut a emotional cord. Like whatever spiritual, you know, cord or link that they had. You know, I feel like it's been broken. Because Scorpio just wants to be free of it. Possibly because there's still that connection there where they see each other in their dreams and things like that and maybe there's a Scorpio that didn't want that shit you know what I'm saying I don't know there might be someone that cut it it might have cut some type of cord 
the Knight of Wands. I feel like this person wants to rush forward towards you passionately. They definitely, they definitely want to have sex with you. I feel like this person thinks about the sex with you and, and them a lot. I feel like the sex, like, and maybe y'all might have had sex outside a lot or something like that. Like, I used to be on some Voyager shit. It's like some wild ass shit or something like that. And, um, I, I feel like they, oh, yeah, they can't control their, their desire, their sexual desires for you. They can't control their sexual desires for you. Yeah, the Eight of Swords, the Eight of Swords, yeah, they feel like they're trapped in a prison, and you see that devil in the back, you know what I'm saying, like, they're trapped in a prison, like, they can't, they're in, like, they're trapped in a prison in regards to, I th it's, it's, it's the sex, yeah, it's the sex. Or well, this person is addicted to sex. This person has a sex addiction. The Knight of Wands, they move too fast. They move too fucking fast. Okay, so this person moves too fast and they 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 like it. They like it when it's hot. You see what I'm saying? They move too fast and they like it when it's hot. And this person has like an uncontrollable sexual addiction or something like that. They they and they're fighting it. Like they're trying to do that shadow work to kind of figure out like what the fuck is wrong with them. You know what I'm saying? Because they feel like they're like in a mental trap. Like they can't stop thinking about you sexually, Scorpio. But I feel like they feel bound to this. They feel bound to this horrid ass behavior, this page of wands, like this immature, horny toe, fuck boy ass goddamn behavior, fuck girl behavior. Like they can't seem to figure out why they can't control their sexual urges. Tell me about Scorpio in love. Please clarify where Scorpio is in love. For the month of May, please care for our because that's this person busting all up in y'all reading. Four of Wands, okay. Scorpio out here, okay. All right, Scorpio is out here celebrating and um, I, I, and two of chalices, two of cups, okay. Scorpio. <laughs> Come on. Like, fuck with that nigga doing. What are you doing? Three of cups. <laughs> okay, Scorpio. Oh. Well, oh, oh, oh. Here we go. And I, okay, look, look. Listen, listen. All this, all this stuff over here. So, it looks like what's going on with Scorpio for the month of May, clarifying what's going on with them for love, not what's going on with the people that's thinking about Scorpio or who Scorpio is thinking about. Because, and that's the reason why this person is coming up in Scorpio's energy is because Scorpio can't stop thinking about this person. And this person probably can't stop thinking about Scorpio. But as you can see, this person is still dealing with their demons. Does it sound like someone that you would, if they was to come back right now, that you would accept them and that y'all would have a healthy relationship? No. So you need to stop thinking about this person. And it don't matter if this person and their energy is saying that they're coming back or not. Even if you was to come back after all of this shit, do what I even want you back. And that's the thing that I want people to understand. Like, fuck all of this bullshit. Regardless of someone that is going to come, if they're going to come back or not, what difference does it make if they already hurt you several times over? Towards the way you can't get out of your mind, you can't stop thinking about how this person deceived you and, and manipulated you and, 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 and hurt you like this. Why the fuck would you want them back in any form? I don't even give a fuck if they got their self together. Nigga, I know what you did last summer. You know what I'm saying? I know what you're capable of. I know what being hurt by you feels like. So why the fuck would I want you back in any form? Now, I don't know about any other Scorpio, but I know about me. And what I see right here, that's what the fuck I want. Because what you're not going to do 
It's break my heart fucking around with a third party and you decide this spring that you gonna get rid of that motherfucker so that you can get shit together so that by the fall time that you done figured out your shadow work so you could come back to me. Now don't come back to me after your shit with your third party don't it ain't work out. I don't want that. I listen, I don't know about nobody else, but I know about me. I think that people that I lay down with are precious to me. Once you done had your dick up in something else, I don't want you no more. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I, I, I don't want you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I want something that's mine. Something that's divine. And that is exactly what's coming to Full of wands. Do you hear me? Something in the, in, in the world card. A brand new chapter. Something that has commitment. Harmony. Long loving lasting. Long lasting longevity. Longevity. <laughs> long lasting longevity. Longevity. Y'all have good times. It's going to be grand celebrations. I can see that you got. Listen, this man is trying to listen. Okay? He want to eat you up like you a steak on a platter. Does it matter what happened in the past? It don't. Because from what I'm looking at right now, fuck how this person in the past used to fuck you. It looks like you getting some long loving. Some good loving. This one like to fuck you outside too. This one do all the nasty shit that you listen to. Listen. You see how this man is massaging her foot, honey? You stroking your breasts. You feeling all success. You feeling all successful. Then that's followed up by the two of cups. Showing even more love. That this is the ordained perfect timing. That true love, that it is the real one coming to you. Not this bullshit from the past. This is going to be somebody that you're going to meet when you out celebrating, enjoying yourself. That's why I'm trying to tell you, Scorpio. Go out, enjoy yourself. Stop thinking about this shit from the past. Release it in the name of Jesus. Whoever this person is that is taking you to that boat, that's trying to lead you away from the past so that you can rest and get your mind together and take you to a better place where you can have a lot more joy and be free. This is where you're going to commitment to a brand new world, a brand new solid commitment, a new world. This is you traveling to a new world somewhere where someone loves you and you love them, your true, your true soulmate. And y'all like to go out and have fun with each other. Like this is this is this is what I want. I don't know what nobody else wants. I don't want none of that. Oh, girl, listen, listen. So this was in the reverse. So the wheel of fortune in reverse. The lovers. The ten of wands. The six of wands. The six of chalices. The knight of swords. The moon in reverse. Okay. So listen. So this is this is it. So what spirit is trying to tell you that. You are going to harbor more misfortune to you as long as you continue to fantasize and glorify this lover of yours, this past lover of yours. Could have been a Gemini that likes to keep two lovers of his own, of his or her own. So this person from your past, do you feel what I'm saying? The one that you can't never get shit right with has been nothing but a misfortunate affair. With this person. Because this person always keeps two. This is this person's idea of love. So if you entertain this person. I don't give a fuck how much they said they change. This is their idea of love. So unless you okay with that. Go ahead. But I'm going to tell you what. You're going to go back and get fucked. The dick going to get. <laughs> the dick going to get big. The dick going to be good. But guess what. This, 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 this. Relationship is just based on sex and penetration. That's it. That's it. And this motherfucker always going to be caught in the bushes. Fucking somebody that you don't know about. And that's the burden that you want to be carrying. Why? Because you want to be in love with someone that always wants to keep two. They always want to be hiding in the bushes. Screwing. Ten of wands. Is this a burden that you're willing to carry? Okay? Is this a burden that you're willing to carry? Okay? Wheel of Fortune. Even the Wheel of Fortune card got three bitches on it. 
Do you see what I'm saying? Is this the misfortune that you're willing to carry? Just to be acknowledged? To be celebrated by someone who's always out there chasing some new ass? Really? That's the type of that's the type of acknowledgement you want. That's what you want. You want this person from the past so bad. This person is always out there chasing ass. This person that you done caught 10 times over in the bushes fucking somebody that you don't know. This person that always got two or three lovers. This person that always keep you in a bout of misfortune because all of the bitches that they be having around. Really? Think. Study long, study wrong. Keep studying and keep focusing on this thing in the past. You're going to manifest that pain right back into your life. You're going to manifest a controlling, narcissistic, egotistical, psychopathic fucking bitch. He going to come back trying to control you. He's going to embarrass you. He's going to manipulate you. He's going to lie to you. He's going to cheat on you and do all of this shit that he was doing before for everyone to see. Everyone to see you being mistreated. Like, look at this bitch. Did she learn her lesson last time? Nope. Nope. And you gonna find out some shit about this person that you wish that you would have never found out. You might be barking up the wrong door. And you gonna turn your fears into reality. Be careful what you wishing for, Scorpio. All right. So I'm going to keep this shit separate. Okay? Since he want to be in your energy, that's telling you what's going on with him. That's telling you what's going on with you. This is telling you what's going on with the ones that that, that is not trying to let go and want to go back. That keep focusing on something from the past. And you got to think about when you constantly focusing your energy on something. You telling the universe that this is what I want. It don't matter if it's good or bad. If it's good or bad memories. You're still... Telling your universe that this is what I want. And you're going to get it. And this card to me represents STDs. Look at this. Look what type of shit that this person be into. And this is the Pisces or Cancer card. Especially some of y'all that's dating other water signs. You don't fuck around and get a disease. I don't even know where the fuck I'm going now. Okay, I'm sorry. Because, like, that shit bothered me. Because you see on one on one set of the table, you got people that is struggling. And you got the other set of the table, someone that's waking up and they're going into prosperity. <laughs> I'm going into prosperity. I'm not, I'm not sitting in no despair. Give me some additional guidance for Scorpio. Because y'all been y'all got a lot of cards. Okay? So what is this? The brown. Grounding, stability, and foundations. I feel like right now y'all might be having a struggle in regards to foundations and getting yourself grounded. I feel like y'all might just be back and forth. Uh back and forth. Back and forth a lot about what it is that you actually want and where your emotions lie. Like, do I want to keep focusing on this shit from the past or am I really trying to heal and get over this? Five, five, five. It says wisdom, wake up call, time to move on in a new direction. I feel like some of y'all are not listening to that wake up call because this came out in the reverse. But then there's some of y'all that are. Because I typically don't read this these cards in the reverse. But I will tell you if I feel... Like, I need to say that. And I do feel like there are some people that are not getting their wake-up call and they are not moving forward. That's why they're not grounded right now. You know? I feel like something turned around, no. You got this for Scorpio. Gray. Depression, detached, unemotional. So, you guys are getting over this gray area. You you getting over this gray area because I, I, I think that you recognize that there's a hidden veil. Because one thing about Scorpios, Scorpios, you can't hide shit from us. You know what I'm saying? I feel like there was something that happened that unrooted you. I feel like you will find, like you will find something happened, some information, something happened that triggered you, that unrooted you, 
that unfucking rooted you, something that triggered you to start focusing on the fucking past. Something that's fucking up your energy. Maybe it's some dreams and shit. Wisdom, wake up call, time to move in a new direction. I feel like Scorpio was moving in a new direction, but something triggered the fuck out of them. And right now they're trying to get out of this gray area because it was triggering them. And they were depressed, detached, and unemotional. And like, Scorpio worked too hard to... They worked too hard. Like, I don't feel Scorpio was there. Was there. Something came out that was unveiled to them. Something that was hidden. That's why I'm, I'm like, something triggered Scorpio. I really do feel that on a high level. Give me guidance about this veil. Something... Something was hidden from them, but at the same time, the thing that was hidden from them, I think, makes Scorpio appreciate their freedom. You see what I'm saying? So whatever it was, and what is this? Yellow, confidence, success, happiness, optimism. So I feel like there was something that Scorpio found out about or something that might have came out in the shadows that you didn't know about. Like, I feel like you knew about some shit, but maybe you didn't know about everything. And something came out, and it, it, it unrooted you. You know what I'm saying? Like, it threw you the fuck off. You know? It threw you off. And, and where's all you was moving forward? It messed you up where you weren't able to move forward because... You ended up getting depressed dealing with this hidden information, but now you coming out of this gray area and you appreciate the fact that you move forward and you freed yourself from this situation. And now you're getting your confidence back. I feel like it kicked you down for like a hot second, but now you're getting your confidence back and you are just thanking God that you're freed from this situation. One, one, one. You are a magical creator. Your thoughts are the beginnings to manifestations. That's why I'm trying to tell you y'all need to clean your thoughts up. If you constantly dwelling on the past or thinking about, I don't want this, I don't want this, I don't want that, and I don't like this, I don't like that, God is going to give you more of that and going to be like, oh, who, this, these cycles that you ain't trying to close up, all of this shit from the past, this, this what you're talking about, you don't want this, 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 like that's what God's going to do, because that's all you thinking about, you know what I'm saying? If only thing you're thinking about is unclosed chapters and unclosed cycles, that's what you want to manifest into your life. Yeah, uncompleted things. You know what I'm saying? You're not going to be able to complete this, this cycle in your life. If only thing you're doing is thinking about some shit from the past, it's time for you to grow up and be mature. And I feel like some of y'all out here being a nigga beard and shit like that, like... Motherfuckers got some hidden shit going on with them. Got some shit going on, and I feel like, look, y'all, y'all use that for however y'all want to use that. Give me one more spread, and we about. Please clarify. Please clarify for me. What can uh, Scorpio expect for the future in May? Give me guidance for what Scorpio can affect. Effect. Expect in the future. For May. Give me guidance. King of Pentacles. Ooh. Boom, pow, surprise. Boom, pow, surprise. And I see some baby feet. Ooh. I see some baby feet. That boy be stroking. <laughs> That's what I be talking about. Are you stroking? I'm stroking to the east. Five of Pentacles. All of that hardship, all of that despair, all of that shit is over. And trust and believe some big money is coming in. So if you guys are looking for some type of financial advancement in your life, guess what? Check your email. Bitch, you might be getting a message that you just got a raise, that you got a promotion, that you got a new job, that you got approved for a business loan so you can start your business and shit like that. And it's five of cups. You are over crying over that shit in the past. You don't give a fuck about that shit at all. Too 
two tears in a bucket. Fuck it. Um, King of Swords. Um, what is this? King of Swords on reverse. You know that this motherfucker was dumb as hell and didn't realize that they had a diamond in front of him. You don't give a fuck about that motherfucker no more. He's a lying, cheating bastard anyway. He's a lying, cheating bastard. Okay? That what he was. That what he is. And that what he gonna be. Okay? That's what he was. That what he is. And that what he gonna be. And I'm too mature to be running around here being a motherfucker's beard. Nigga. And if you don't know what a beard means, a beard is a cover up. You know what I'm saying? So, a beard could be like someone that don't know how to financially get their life together. So, like, they'll go and deal with people that they're not really attracted to or don't really want to be with just so they can have a place to live, they can have a place to eat, you know what I'm saying, and shit like that, so it's just like, really, you just his cover up his shield, so he ain't gotta go out there and be mature, and be a real man, or be a real woman, and actually face life, and beards are also mainly known as cover ups for women who are dating, like, down low men, you know what I'm saying, so, but typically when I see that, I feel like, this is someone that's needing to step up and be mature and realize that, you know, this person might not be all that they seem. You know what I'm saying? It's something underneath that beard that you might not like. You know what I'm saying? So don't let that shit grow on you like that because this person might be attaching themselves to you for the wrong reasons. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. I'm sorry. I felt like I needed to explain that beard. I feel like I need to explain that shit to somebody. God, no. Like, you just sitting out there, God, no, to make the front of your yard look all fancy and intriguing. Like, it's all nice on the inside. But once you get inside that house, that house ain't as pretty as the outside of their yard. You know what I'm saying? It's like a front. You a front, basically. You a front for the outside world, but that ain't really who I am on the inside. Do you see what I'm saying? That's a beard. So what is this? The King of Cups in reverse. Hmm. The Eight of Swords and the Three of Pentacles. Okay, so it looks like here, like I said, Y'all got a whole bunch of damn men in here, don't you? Got a whole lot of goddamn men in here, don't you? You got the King of Pentacles. And he over here trying to make a baby with you. Okay, come on, Father. Come on, Father. You coming out of despair. You coming out of hardship. Okay? You ain't focused on the past no more. But the past is focused on you. Because I see a motherfucker that's still sitting up there and lying to themselves about all of the shit in the past. And not only that, they ain't trying to really deal with their true emotions. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, you know, the Eight of Swords. Is this? Yeah, the Eight of Swords in reverse. And only thing I know is Scorpio recognizes this person is a liar. And this person don't know how to give or receive love. And if they're not going to continue to be tied up and fixated on this bullshit no more, focusing on this bullshit in the past, I rebuke that shit in the name of Jesus. They're focused on a brand new collaboration. <laughs> the Three of Pentacles, okay? All right? The, with the King of Pentacles, someone that is really trying to plan something with them for the future, for the long haul. So this Scorpio is getting themselves out of that shit. They're getting themselves out of this depression. They're getting themselves out of this despair. They're getting themselves out of this financial rut. Once, it seems like to me, once Scorpio stop fixating and obsessing. I'm saying it, obsessing on the past. Your whole world open up to you. Because you finally able to see, because you got to stop glorifying fuck niggas. Okay? This person is a liar and this person don't know how to give or receive love. What you want anything to do with them for? And you gotta be careful because this this could be three different dudes in your energy too. 
you got one that actually want to be with you and want to want to be committed and then want to want to start a family with you and that's actually trying to plan and want to be committed and tied with you forever that wants to learn you that wants to find out how y'all can collaborate and grow together and like build something together that's the king of pentacles but then you got again the king of swords and the king of cups one who's a fucking liar and a manipulator and the other one that don't know how to give or receive love and is a fucking playboy and this one is a cold liar and his bitch that's a fucking bachelor that's full of himself okay so y'all could be having three different men don't pick these backward bastards deal with the one that's trying to build something okay don't don't be in no place of despair remember you are what you eat what you feed your mind every day is what you're feeding to the universe and is what the lord is going to feed you on your table every day so if you keep focusing on despair if you keep focusing on the past you're going to continuously live in it and it's nobody's fault but your own because it's showing you here if you choose if you choose to use your intuition and not be scared of moving on to what's better for you. If you accept this hand and help. Okay. And allow this man to take care of you and your children for a second. While you get your mind together and heal. If you do that. This person going to show you a real man. Okay. It's going to show you true love. All right. It's going to show you everything that you've been praying for, okay? It's going to show you a fun time, okay? It's going to show you why you left that world behind. It's going to show you what true tranquility is. It's someone giving you your cup so you could truly sit in your role as a queen. In that chapter, pick the right one. And finally, in this chapter, stop holding on to some shit. Let it go, Scorpio. I love you. I hope this resonates. Hit the like button. And I'm out. Peace.